In this video, I'll walk through some examples of writing Lewis structures for covalently bonded compounds. Our first one is pH 3, and we start by finding the number of valence electrons. So I'll label that valence. And for phosphorus, we have five valence electrons plus three hydrogen, and each hydrogen atom has one electron. So we have a total of five plus three is eight eight valence electrons. Now what we do is we take the the element that's not hydrogen, if it's if it's just a hydrogen and something else, we take the element that is not hydrogen and we put it in the middle. So I'll do that and then we put the hydrogens around it. So I'll do that. Now we write a, a single bond in between each hydrogen and the phosphorus. Now we have eight valence electrons to account for. So each bar or line accounts for a pair of um, a shared electrons. So we have two, four, six. We need eight, so I'm going to put two more around uh, on phosphorus, and that's it. That's our Lewis structure for the pH 3. Moving along, HNO3, nitric acid. On this one, we're going to count the valence electrons again. So for uh, hydrogen, we have one. For nitrogen, we have five valence electrons. And we have three uh, oxygen atoms times six valence electrons for each oxygen atom. So six plus 18 gives a total of 24 valence electrons. Okay, we've got our work cut out for us, but we can do it. We start by a good rule of thumb is it's not going to be hydrogen in the middle uh, and it's not going to be oxygen in this one because uh, it, there are three of them. So, uh, or, or another uh, rule of thumb is the le least electronegative. So um, nitrogen has the least number of valence electrons and, and that's another reason. So we will put nitrogen in the middle. Here it is. We'll surround it with the oxygens and we need a hydrogen. We're going to put a single bond in between each letter that we see or each uh, element. Now we need to account for 24 electrons. So we have two, four, six, eight. We still need quite a few more. Well, there's something called the octet rule. Octet rule. And, and what that means is that most atoms, of course not hydrogen because it only has one electron, but most uh, atoms like to be surrounded by eight electrons. Even the atoms like carbon that only have four valence electrons to begin with, it likes to be surrounded by, uh, by eight electrons. So, or share eight electrons you could say, but we also say it's not always going to be shared, so just surrounded, surrounded by eight electrons in these Lewis structures. So I'll do that for the oxygens. I will fill them in. Each oxygen already has two, right? Because the, the two that's represented by the line. Filling that in. This oxygen has two, four, so I just need four more to fulfill the octet rule. But what about nitrogen? Poor nitrogen left alone, uh, sitting in the middle, it only has two, four, six. Each line represents a pair. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll just take this, this lone pair from oxygen, and I'll make another bond. So we'll have a double bond between this oxygen and this nitrogen, and then, sneaky magic, I'm just going to erase this lone pair. And there we go. So now we still have eight uh, sh uh, electrons around this oxygen, two, four, six, eight, and we also have eight around nitrogen. So we're done. We're, we're good with that one. That's the Lewis structure. Now we've got some ions, O2, 2 minus. So we start with the same way we count the valence electrons. We've got two oxygen atoms multiplied by a total of six valence electrons for each plus two electrons because when we see a two minus, that means that the, the negative charge uh, represents a negative or a an electron so we have two more electrons from the the two minus 
So we have a total of 14 valence electrons to worry about. So this is pretty simple. We just have two oxygens. Put it there, put it there, start with a single bond. And guess what? This is actually going to be finished up by just putting the rest of the electrons. We had two. We need to, need to account for 14 total. So we draw, we had two from the from the bond here and and then um, we need 12 more and we drew them in there and that's it that's the Lewis structure now this is something that you would want to put for the finish that my friends is called the formal charge so sometimes in an academic setting you'll be asked to write the formal charge when writing a Lewis structure and the, only the ions of course would have that formal charge now let's start with the uh, CO3 2 minus carbonate is what that is valence electrons carbon has four valence electrons we have three oxygens times the six valence electrons for each oxygen plus again we have two more electrons by the way if this were a two plus if it were a two plus, we would take away two electrons because a positive charge means that you've you've lost some electrons. But we're we're adding two more. This two minus says we're adding more. So we've got four plus two plus the eighteen for a total of twenty-four valence electrons that we have to worry about. So we'll start with carbon in the middle, uh, the, the least electronegative, the least uh, number of valence electrons, and also it. It's by itself. There are three oxygens, so that probably won't be in the middle. So we'll start with that. We'll put the carbon here, and I'm going to put an oxygen around the sides of it. We've got three oxygens. And now what are we going to do? Well, we're going to fill in with the dots because the octet rule, we want all of these oxygens to feel good about having their eight electrons in each bar represents two. Remember, each bar represents two electrons. So I'll write over the blue to show the, the yellow as we've got two electrons there. So here we go. I'm filling in the rest. And after I'm done, you will see that I will have 24 electrons all over the place. Two, four, six. That's the counting two for each bond. And then 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. We've got it. But carbon, poor carbon, does not fulfill the octet rule. It is only surrounded by six. So we'll do the same trick that we did up in this example with the nitric acid. And we'll take the this lone pair and we'll just put it right there. So we have a double bond. Double bond. And I'm going to erase this lone pair if we're going to move those. Geographically, of course, this is uh, what goes on. This is a metaphor for what goes on. Electrons are being shared, but they don't have these bars and, and dots sitting around them in, in nature. This is, this is just the way we, we draw this for a diagram. I can get this uh, formal charge on here. And you guessed it. It's going to be 2 minus. And there's another example of a Lewis structure. I hope these were helpful. If they were helpful, consider liking this video or sharing it with a friend.